In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can stream videos directly from your own server as opposed to streaming your videos from places like YouTube or VMO or others. And uh, the first question people might want to ask is why would you want to do that? You know, that's just going to take up a lot of bandwidth at your server. It's going to you know, require storage. You know, why wouldn't you just let YouTube show it? Well, YouTube videos are all fine and good. Wonderful uh, improvements have been made over the last uh, two years. And as we pointed out in our last tutorial, there's actually a number of great advantages to using YouTube because you load up one video and they encode it six different ways. And that way people, depending on their connection speed, can choose how they want to watch it. However, as everyone is aware, YouTube is not uh, playing these videos out of the goodness of their heart even though they probably could with all the money that uh, Google has these days. But it is all about advertising. And when you're making videos for clients that want to be able to stream videos about their product or their service or their organization and how they want to fundraise for them, they don't necessarily want to have the chance that, that the visitors who come to watch videos about them are going to end up clicking away from their site, clicking on some advertising, uh, or having to deal and display with advertising that might not be of the same philosophy or mindset of your client. You know, there's all sorts of problems and reasons why your client may not want to display videos uh, on a place like YouTube. Here's a site that I've created for one of my clients where most of the options are uh, to play videos directly from the server where I'm storing these videos. And I give people the option to play either from uh, a slow connection that they might have or if they want to see the video in a little bit better quality, a fast connection. However, uh, in addition to streaming it from my own server, we do give the viewer an opportunity to click over to play the same video on a YouTube channel. This particular client is fine with uh, you know people watching the videos on YouTube. They have created their own YouTube channel and so it's kind of to their advantage to get people to come over to YouTube because once they finished watching one video a number of other video options will become available from their own YouTube channel or they may be part of a playlist uh, on YouTube so that when they finish one, another one starts. So there are pros and cons, but just know that uh, if you start creating websites for your clients uh, where you're going to be posting your videos, there's a good chance that they're going to want you to stream them from either their server or uh, your server if you uh, are hosting their site for them. So how can we do that? Well, there is an extension from our friends over at Rocket Theme called Rockbox. You can get to it by going to rockettheme.com and going to Extensions and click on See All Joomla Extensions and the one we want is called Rockbox 2. Actually, that's not the one we want. Uh, what we want to do is uh, click on Download and scroll down to where it says Rockbox 1 depreciated. And people might ask, well, why would you want to use an old extension that uh, is no longer being serviced? We will probably eventually want to start taking a closer look at Rockbox 2, but uh, every time I've taken a look at it, it just seems quite complex. And so I've always reverted back to Rockbox 1. Uh, probably one of these days I'm going to have to take another look at it. And when we do and get it all figured out, we'll make a tutorial on that. However, as I've done my research, I've discovered that Rockbox 2 is not really designed to stream videos from your own server. Their basic setup is to allow you to stream videos from places like YouTube. They have, uh, when you go to the forums and start uh, researching how other people have dealt with this issue with Rockbox 2, uh, you will find that there have been some solutions that have been developed to be able to stream your own videos. But again, it's quite complex. It involves coding and uh, it's Java based and it's just uh, something for maybe down in the future. Right now, I want to show you an easy way that you can stream videos from your own server using the depreciated version of Rockbox 
Rockbox one. So go ahead and download that to your computer. And then let's open up our control panel so we can install that extension. Go to Extensions, Extension Manager, and hit the Browse button to, to go after that. Uh, navigate uh, on your hard drives to where you place that. And just double click on that and hit Upload and Install. And now we have the wonderful message that the Rockbox system plugin was successful. And we can go now to Plugin Manager and make sure that it's published. Uh, look for that. Might have to hit Display All. Here we go, Rocket, our Rockbox content. It looks like it is published. There should be another one. Let's. System Rockbox. I think that's the most important one. And uh, make sure that it is published as well, showing the green check mark there. Let's open it up for a second and take a look at it. Uh, just a couple things you might want to change here. Over here at Preset Themes, since our template is kind of based on a darker theme, let's choose that. There are some other options that uh, you can be aware of there. Um, but I think that's about the only change we need to make. There are some other settings that uh, you might want to explore there. Um, but for the most part, I think we can just leave it at the changing that basic setting to dark. And let's save and close that and give it a try. Let's go over to our article in Article Manager. We still only have the one little lone article there. In our next tutorial, we are going to uh, actually make some menu items and uh, what I'll do in between now and then is load up a bunch of articles so we'll be able to have some content to link to in our menus. But uh, for this tutorial, let's just open up this one article that we have and show you how you can insert a video and play it right from your own server. We're not actually inserting the video, we're just really pointing to it on our server. Even the images, when we talk about you know, placing an image in our article, it does show up here in our What You See Is What You Get editor just to help us visualize what it's going to look like and how the text is going to flow around it. But in reality, if we were to go look at the actual code, and JCE Editor allows you to actually go take a look at the code uh, by this little button here, we'll see that when we look at the actual code, there's no image there. It's just a, a line of code or text that points to where the image can be displayed from. But that's getting a little sidetracked. Let's go back to our What You See Is What You Get editor and just find a place where we can pop in that video. Maybe we'll put it where we had placed it before. Uh, in our last tutorial, we were showing you how you can uh, place video in your article using a plugin extension from Joomla Works called All Videos. And this is the code that they uh, had us use. The trouble with uh, that program is that it shows up in your article a big open space for the video to play, and it's a little distracting from the article. When we use this Rockbox extension that we're showing you in this tutorial, we can uh, add our line of text here, and it doesn't display a big open window for the video. It just is a link that invites people to play the video. So if people are reading the article, they maybe don't have time to watch your little video anyway, so it's, it's not going to be as distracting in your article. So let's give it a try. Now this, is, again, is text-based uh, code, and uh, I'm just going to copy-paste it from where I've set this up, and then show you uh, how everything works. This is the little line of code. Let's put it on its separate line. Just so you get an idea, let's save this and take a look at it now on our website. So you'll see that uh, there's no longer any big open box window uh, where the video is supposed to play. Now what we have is just this little line of text that says play video. And uh, the way I have it set up, I am giving the viewer an option to play it either from a slow connection or a fast connection. And if we go back to our article, we could uh, do things like center that so it sets it apart a little bit. Uh, perhaps we could uh, increase the, the font size of it all. 
to be more like 14 to make it stand out a little bit. And let's maybe center it as well and see how that looks. Scroll down. And this time, it's a little bigger font. It shows up in the middle. And we've got these links to play rather than, if you remember from last tutorial, having a great big ugly window here with a play button. And now when your visitor clicks on the slow connection, lights go down and a video window pops up. Okay, we've downloaded a template from rockettheme.com. And we can close out of that and try the fast connection. And that's a much larger window. It's uh, more an okay, HD. Okay, we've downloaded a template from Rocket Theme. And so there you get an idea of how you can set it up to give people a link-based option to play a video. But how is it done? Let's go back to our article and show you the text. And I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually paste this text right into the comment section. Or what is that? Just above the comments in YouTube, there's a place where I can give a description. I'm going to actually, for this tutorial, I'm going to actually paste this code that I've used. You can go to Rocket Theme and take a look at the various options there of how you can add text and point to your videos. But you're probably going to find it just a little bit easier if you just copy paste what I've done here. And then you can make uh, changes and adjustments so that it works with the videos that are stored on your website or maybe change the little text message that shows up here. What I've got is slow connection and fast connection. Well, you might want to have a little different text message in there. Well, if you just copy paste this from the description part of our uh, YouTube section there, um, you, and then make your changes, you'll probably find it a little easier. Well, what have we got going here? The first section is just uh, regular text as if it was appearing right in your article, play video, colon. And then we have the code snippet that works with Rockbox. And as you examine it, you can kind of get an idea of how everything is working. You have the open bracket there and uh, a rock box size equals. And here we can plug in the actual size that we want that video to play in. The pixels in width and then the pixels in height. So depending on how you've encoded your video, the size you've encoded it, that's the information that you'll want to place there. And then our next bit of information is uh, the text that we want people to be able to click on. So you have a text equals and then you can type in the text that you want to place there. Close bracket that and then uh, designate the folder which you have stored the videos on on your website. You remember in our last tutorial we used FileZilla. You can use any FTP program or even file manager from your cPanel. But I think my favorite method is using an FTP program like FileZilla. It's easy to connect to your website, your server, and once you're connected, go to public HTML. And if you haven't done so already, uh, I would recommend creating a new folder. Uh, in our last tutorial, we created a file folder called videos and we uploaded one video. I've now uploaded a second video that is the high definition version of this video. And so now we have both versions. And so what I usually do when I'm uh, adding a new video to an article is I'll just open up my FileZilla and just kind of click on this a second time and you'll see that it highlights the file name. I can just copy that. And then as we go back to our uh, line of code here, we see that we've listed the folder in which those videos are stored you know, a folder on our server called videos. And then we're going to uh, either type in or what I've done is a copy and I'm going to do a copy paste of the actual file name. And this is what closes out that first line of code. Um, this is the actually the opening section to the line of code. And then this is what closes it off. Okay, and then I've got a, a backslash. And this is really just open text, uh, the same as the play video part. And then we start another line of rock box code. And it's virtually identical to the first one, except that we've changed the text 
to be fast connection and uh, the file name is a little bit different. We've got an HD here rather than an LR. We have also changed the file size so that it plays in uh, a larger size of 1920 by 1080. And that's what makes everything work. These lines of code communicate with the plugin or extension that we just uh, installed and makes those videos play. So give it a try. Like I say, we'll, we'll paste this right into the uh, introduction section to the YouTube video so that you can just copy and place it in an article and uh, make your changes and try it out for yourself. All right, well, I believe that that does it for adding video to your Joomla articles using Rockbox.